All right, I'm headed out to a light call. I'm going to take care of one of my customers. Rona ready, baby. Let get it, get it, get it, get it. You know, I had a cons consultation call today, and the young man was starting a business, and you know, he's wondering when he'll be ready to hire people. And I get that question all the time because I see so many people trying to mimic somebody else or what they think somebody else is doing. I think it's really key, really, 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 really key for us to understand that your journey is your journey. You cannot continue to compare yourself to someone else. Well, you just need to be the best you you can be. I'm going to drop a gem. There's a book you need to pick up called Atomic Habits. It talks about incremental improvements to make yourself better. That's one book. Another thing I'd like to drop is going to be something called time blocking. All this stuff comes back to time management and to becoming the best you you can be. Of course, if you're following me, you should know about the four-hour work week. Because I do have a full-time job, plus I run my businesses. And I am fully engaged in all areas. Because in order to be successful, you got to pay attention to every detail. So right now, I am very clear about financial statements, profit and loss, uh, taxes, things of that nature. You know how I get that way? It's on these drives in between jobs. So anytime I have time, I get a book in. I get a little YouTube university in to keep me on top of my game to make sure that I'm not missing anything. I follow some of my most successful, proven most successful YouTubers. Um, and I, everything they say, I document what I can. If they drop a book, I'm going to get it. Uh, for those of you that are in the service industries, you need to get that Home Service Millionaire. It's the bomb-ass book by Tim Mello. Uh, you need to learn how to structure your business and get paid properly with invoices. You need to learn about the five banking accounts so that you can move your money around. So when you start making this money, you put it in the right places. So when you look around and you need something's there, that you got an account for your taxes, account for your vacation, account to pay yourself, account to pay for your parts and your operations. You need to handle your business accordingly. But at the end of the day, nobody's going to give you anything. You need to get your ass out here and get it. Failure is not an option. And if you know like I know, while everybody else sleeping during this Romo pandemic, I'm out here getting it. And I am fully protected. Trust me. I got my B12, my D3, my uh, uh, black seed oil, another gym. Um, I'm taking a combination of things. And I always have a cleanser going on. And when I say cleanser, whether it be lymph cleanser, uh, respiratory cleanser, there are herbs that we all should be taking to keep our system clean because you breathing in shit that just, you don't even know what's out here. So if you always in tip top and you realize that you are in an environment that in some areas you cannot control, you're going to make sure that you're in tip top. You know, keep your energy levels up. And then on top of all that, the thing that people miss the most is that mental stuff, man. You got to be around people that are enlightened. You got to understand that it's about reciprocating relationships. If you're not getting nothing out of a relationship, if you have a conversation with somebody you're not enlightened up after the conversation, the blah, 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 are you having it? There's no more time to waste. There are signs, symbols, and signals, baby, telling you, you better get it or it's going to get you. So, all I can do is tell you to get it. You know, people look at me and say, oh, there's no way I would have worked on Easter, this, this, and that. Let me explain something to you. Somebody got to work on it. It might as well be me. And that don't mean that I am less spiritual, you know, less of a, you know, whatever denomination I subscribe to. You know, I'm one of those people, I subscribe to this. Let your haters be your motivators. 
whatever propels me to greatness is something that I have built. There are things that have happened in my life so that I can be the best possible me. So let me get back to appliance repair. I always have to drop some, some science on y'all because, you know, I need y'all not to miss these nuggets. Trust and believe. You know, luckily you got a passionate person like me that give you a little more than you bargain for. If you know like I know, you might want to learn what to do with it. So in all things, you need to think about what are you going to do with your business? What is the plan? Are you going to have a niche? Are you going to be the best at that niche? Are you investing in your education? I can ex expect my text to perform if I don't stay up on technology. If I'm not up on top of the latest technical service bulletins and I don't give them the tools where they can pull that information. That I, If I don't invest in the training and things of that nature. But I believe in training myself first. Because at the end of the day, I can't lead anybody if I don't know what I'm doing. And there's going to come a time when I'm going to have a technical director, because I've already spoken that into existence, who's going to take care of the training and the management of the technicians, and I'm going to be hands-off. But you better believe I'm going to be ear-hustling and still getting me some training. Because this is how you build not just a good company, but a great company. And then everybody behind you, will stay in line as long as you leave the legacy. And that's how I am. I mean, shoot. That's all I know. I don't know any other way to be. I've studied too many great people. And I feel like this. After a while, you know, I refuse to be walking around in what they call paralysis, analysis paralysis, where I'm going to study, research, but I'm so, I don't learn so much or absorb so much information, I'm scared to make a move. You got to apply yourself. And you know what? I just realized my seatbelt's not on. And I swear, y'all better not send me one of them messages talking about my seatbelt. I got a little excited. I forgot where I was and what I'm doing. But anyway, I need to get in focus mode to take care of my customers. So I'm going to sign off here. And I'm going to get myself in a mental place that I can go in here and wow this person. And they can bring me 10 more clients, if not more. So with that said, always looking out. Always blessing up. Make sure you realize you are in charge of your destiny. You are a co-creator of everything you want. And remember, the decision your ass is making today is going to affect you 10 years from now. Wherever you are right now is because of the choices you made 10 years ago. Trust and believe. And for some of y'all, you where you are because of the choice your ass made yesterday. So signing off, your cool ass auntie, Miss Ward. Have a great night.